As a salesperson and author, Janet Spur knows the power of social media, but she didn't realize just how powerful it can really be until someone figured out her Facebook password and hacked her account. Because this happened seven months ago, my heart's still beating a lot thinking about it. While Janet was at home on the North Shore last July, a hacker was in a Facebook chat room telling her friends she was overseas and in need of big help. The hacker had researched Janet online and had enough information to make Janet's friend think it was really her. They started chatting with her saying that I was at a writer's conference in London that I was held up at gunpoint that all my money was taken in my credit cards that I needed money to get home that I didn't even have a plane ticket. The friend who lives in Brookline thought Janet was in real trouble so she wired $900 to London via Western Union with a fake ID created with information Janet posted on her Facebook account the hackers collected the cash. They've now seen it as another avenue to scam money from people and to scam anything they can from people. Boston-based social media guru Patrick O'Malley, who goes by the handle 617 Patrick, teaches social media skills and safety to clients all over the country. He says sites like Facebook are gold mines for scam artists when people post too much personal information. 350 million Facebook users worldwide, a lot of potential victims. And if you think about what your bank asks for when they want identification, it's typically your social security number, your mother's maiden name, and your birth date. Well, your birth date is typically in your Facebook profile, and sometimes they can find your mother's maiden name, especially if she's a friend of yours. Scams are one example of how sites like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter can be hazardous to your wallet. And there are many more. In most cases, though, it doesn't involve a crook or a con artist. People end up costing themselves. Take pro football player Larry Johnson. The all-pro running back lost a $300,000 paycheck and ultimately his job with the Kansas City Chiefs after he posted an anti-gay slur on Twitter. Another person who ran into trouble in 140 characters or less, 22-year-old Connor Riley, a.k.a. the Cisco Fatty. The San Francisco woman tweeted, Cisco just offered me a job. Now I have to weigh the utility of a fatty paycheck against the daily commute to San Jose and hating the work. Unfortunately for Connor, she forgot to make the tweet private, and a Cisco employee saw it and replied, Who is the hiring manager? I'm sure they'd love to know that you'll hate the work. We here at Cisco are versed in the web. The post went viral, and Connor Riley is now a Twitterverse sensation for all the wrong reasons. And you have to realize that anything that you put on the Internet could conceivably be seen by your employer, by your enemies, by your grandparents, by your grandchildren, and maybe for years to come. Keep in mind, the person you think you're talking to or getting information from may not actually be that person. And if your personal information is public, everyone, and I mean everyone, can see it. For a person to take off their birthday, take off any email address, and um, don't say you're going away. Janet Spur says she's learned a lot from her experience. Not everyone on social network sites are really your friends. I'm Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News.